All right, guys, I'm going to be honest with you straight up and down. This video proves why not everybody deserves a fast car. One word to describe this police chase, stupid. The dumbest police chase that I've ever reviewed on my channel. Number one, it only lasts a minute and a half, too. Dodge Challenger Scat Pack doing donuts and burnouts in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. A city cop, not Highway Patrol, not Sheriff's Department. A city cop rolls up on him, lights him up. It's a chase. The chase doesn't last a minute and a half before your boy crashes out. And not only does he crash out, but he crashes into the cop too, twice, just to prove a message. And then he does some more crashing out. This video right here is embarrassing to all Mopar owners, man. I don't know what your boy was doing. He might have been doing it on purpose for all I know. But this right here is stupid 101. Let's just get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes it the house vlog. You know how it's going down from around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car mates, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around for everyone else. Hit that subscribe button, as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming on and uh, when it's coming out. I'm not even going to waste your time. Police activity. Let's just go ahead and get into it, man. So they start the chase off right at the start, right at the start of it. No, no wasting time. They just get right into it. All right, city cop. Looks like he's in a Charger, maybe. Maybe in an Impala. I don't know. Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Look at your boy. What, what is he doing? Look at the lights. The lights is pointing up and one's pointing down. What is your boy doing? That's where the video ends. Uh, let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. It was only a minute. What's your boy doing? So he's, he's merging onto the highway. Merging onto the highway. Now, you know in our cars, you cannot accelerate coming out of a sharp turn until you get some sort of straight. Or if you do accelerate, it's got to be gradual. Because if you get on it while you're in track mode and you're making a sharp turn, you're going to lose control. You're going to crash out. Look at that. Right here. That's exactly what happens. Overcorrected. Lost control. The cop is just sitting here looking at this guy like, what, what are you doing? Like, is the chase over with at this point? What are you doing? Your boy does a donut around the cop on the highway. Hits the wall over here. Still losing control. Look at his headlight. Hit the wall over here and fucked his light up. You can see, look at one headlight point straight, the other one point down. Messed it up bad. Still losing control. At this point, I think he's doing it on purpose. Unless something is just terribly broken in the car. Like, I don't know, a, a drive shaft, axle, something. And he just can't control it. Go straight into the cop. I mean, what, what are you doing? And they caught you, dude. So the video ended there. But they ended up catching him. He was subsequently booked on four charges, including aggravated assault on an officer. Uh, let's see here. October 29, 2024, at 1.30 a.m., Metro Nashville police officers observed 22-year-old uh, driving a silver-colored Dodge Challenger recklessly on Korean Veterans Boulevard. Uh, reportedly ignored the police lights, continued swerving all, all, all across the lanes, even performed donuts in the middle of the road before hitting a police vehicle head-on. After the crash, he fled the scene and was later apprehended by authorities. He was booked on four charges, including aggravated assault on an officer. So was he doing it on purpose? 
I mean, straight up and down, like, it was so bad was your boy doing it on purpose. He wanted to go to jail that night. He wanted to go to jail that night, straight up and down. He wanted to go. I mean, come on now. I mean, one thing that I've told you guys is that, you know, with our cars, real, real drive, nothing but power going to those rear tires. One thing that I've learned that I've learned it the hard way because I made that mistake in my scat pack. I didn't tell you guys I ended up in the bushes because uh, I was doing a U-turn. And as I was doing a U-turn, I got on the gas and my whole back, you know, ass end of the car just swerved out. Overcorrected, panicked, ended up in the bushes. I didn't, you know, needless to say, I didn't film that video. But um, that's what happens when you when you get in these cars. If you don't know how to drive them, they will get away from you. And once they've gotten away from you, it's hard to reel them back in. Because you're reeling in a 4,200-pound car. But I'll be honest with you, from the looks of it, this kid knew what he was doing. The Challenger was probably stolen. It was a Stolo. So he doesn't give a damn whether or not the car gets totaled or not. He doesn't care. He's just having fun. 22 years old, probably in a stolen scat pack, doing donuts around the police on the highway. Come on now. That sounds like a, a striker all day long. Boy, your boy stole that car from somebody and then decided to just take it on a, a joyride and then ran into police and it's like, well, let's keep having fun. The night's not over with. The chase lasts a minute and a half. And then the video just goes off. You know what I'm saying? Because apparently he crashed out in the Challenger and took off running. You know, and if this was his car, it makes it even worse. It makes it even worse because it's like you did all that to your car just for a minute and a half of fun. And I don't think he intended to crash out on purpose. I really think he just didn't know how the hell to drive that car. And the cop was dumbfounded because all he did was just sit there. The cop didn't move the entire video. From the moment that the Challenger crashed out for the first time, to the moment that he started doing the donut around him, the cop didn't move at all. Because the cop is probably just sitting there dumbfounded, like, is this really happening at 1.30 a.m. on the highway? Is this challenger really doing donuts around me? I'm about to take this motherfucker to jail. Straight up and down. You go into jail. Straight to jail. No questions asked. As this person should. This person should be in jail right now. I hope they're still in jail. And I hope whoever's car this is, they get it back. Because it's clearly not his. I'm sure his ass stole it. I hope he stole it. I hope he didn't go to a dealership and buy this car. And now he's doing this with it. Because this is embarrassing, man. But yeah, this is easily top number one dumbest police chase I've ever seen. I don't even think you can call this police chase. This is just crashing out. Crashing out one-on-one. -on -one. If you can't drive these cars, you don't deserve them. Straight up and down, you don't. All right? Real quick video, guys. Just do better. All right? Or don't do it at all. Just pull over. Take the L like a citizen, like a normal citizen. Take the L, take the ticket, go home. Just don't do this. Do anything but this right here. Peace.